Hi, I'm Orlando Sentinel Technology Columnist Eitan Horowitz. Today I've got the new iPhone 3G with me, and I'm going to show you one of the best parts about it, the App Store. The App Store is a virtual marketplace of hundreds of useful and entertaining programs that you can download to your phone, and downloading them is really easy. You just tap the App Store icon on the iPhone, and once it comes up, you can choose from a bunch of different ways to get them. You can look at featured applications, the top 25, or you can even search. So let's download one now. We'll see what's free. Many of the applications are free. You can scroll through them, and when you find one you like, just tap it. You can see uh, descriptions and reviews of it, photos, and then just tap on the little button to install it. You enter your password from iTunes, and then the program immediately starts downloading to your phone. Once your program is finished downloading, just tap it to launch it and start using it. Some of the best applications are music applications, like Pandora, which basically lets you enter any song or artist and then creates a custom music station for you. It plays songs it will think you like based on uh, the songs that you've entered. Once the songs start playing, you rate them by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down, which helps Pandora learn what kinds of music you like. Another great music app is AOL Radio which is a collection of hundreds of live radio stations from around the country, including many owned by CBS. So, for instance, you can listen to the live broadcasts of your local sports teams, even if you're in a different city. For instance, I'm from Philadelphia, so if I want to check what's going on with one of the local music or uh, news stations, I can do so. And then there's Shazam, which helps you with that age-old problem of identifying a song that you're hearing, but you don't know what it's called. All you do is when there's a song playing nearby, just open up the program, press the Tag Now button, and hold your phone up. Shazam will detect what the song is and then try to tell you. And there you can see it's correct. It's Radiohead High and Dry. Lots of apps use the iPhone's GPS to tell you information about things nearby, like Urban Spoon, which helps you find local restaurants. All you do is open it up, it detects your location, and then, if you don't know where you want to go or you're sick of going to the same places, you shake the phone, and like a slot machine, it randomly chooses a place for you. Once it's chose one, you can tap on it to get information, uh, the phone number, or the address. And the iPhone's got some really great games, like Super Monkey Ball, which lets you use the iPhone's motion-sensing controls, or the accelerometer, to guide a monkey trapped in a ball down a course. You just tilt the way you want the monkey to go, and move him around. And then there's Tap Tap Revenge, which is a Guitar Hero-like game, where you tap musical notes to keep the beat of a song. And then there are some applications whose sole purpose seems to be able to make your friends laugh at a party, like the Cowbell application. When you have a song playing on your iPod, just open it up, and you can have your own musical instrument. Add as much Cowbell as you want. And if you're tired from trying out all these great apps, you can even get yourself a refreshing beverage. For the Orlando Sentinel, I'm Eitan Horowitz.